Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey, guided by the incredible discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched on Christmas Day in 2021, Webb is not just another telescope. It's a time machine, allowing us to look back over 13 billion years to witness the birth of galaxies and stars. With its advanced infrared technology and massive mirror, Webb serves as our cosmic lighthouse, illuminating the dark corners of the universe and revealing secrets we've only dreamed of. From breathtaking images of the iconic Carina Nebula to the first ever spectra of exoplanets that could harbor life, the discoveries from Webb are nothing short of awe-inspiring. In this video, we'll explore how this remarkable telescope is changing our understanding of the universe, one stunning image at a time. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's begin with the mesmerizing cosmic cliffs in the Carina Nebula, a breathtaking stellar nursery where new stars are born. What you're looking at isn't just a cosmic painting, it's the edge of a young star-forming region called NGC 3324, located 7,600 light-years away in the Carina Nebula. These mountains and valleys, captured in infrared light, mark the boundaries of a massive gaseous cavity carved out by intense ultraviolet radiation and stellar winds from young, massive stars. The tallest peaks here are about seven light years high, but this isn't just a static image. It's a snapshot of dynamic processes. The ultraviolet radiation from these stars is slowly eroding the surrounding nebula, sculpting its dramatic pillars and walls. See that steam-like glow rising from the cliffs? That's actually hot, ionized gas and dust streaming away, pushed by relentless radiation. These pillars resist the erosion, sheltering pockets of material where new stars are forming. Thanks to Webb's incredible sensitivity to infrared light, scientists can now peer through cosmic dust to spot these young stars. The youngest among them appear as glowing red dots within the dark regions of the nebula. These are protostars, caught in the earliest, rapid phases of their formation moments that were almost impossible to capture before Webb. Let's talk about the instruments that made this possible. Webb's near-infrared camera, or NIRCAM, unveils hundreds of hidden stars and even background galaxies, while the mid-infrared instrument, or MIRI, reveals the glowing dust and planet-forming disks around young stars. Together, they give us an unprecedented view of this cosmic nursery. The Southern Ring Nebula, also known as NGC 3132, a cosmic masterpiece located 2,500 light-years away. Captured in stunning detail by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, this planetary nebula reveals the intricate process of a dying star shedding its outer layers. Two of Webb's instruments, NERCAM and MIRI give us two distinct perspectives on this nebula. Together, they uncover details previously hidden from astronomers, such as a second star at the nebula's center cloaked in dust. At the center of the southern ring, nebula are two stars locked in a tight orbit. The dimmer star is nearing the end of its life, expelling rings of gas and dust for thousands of years. Each of these layers represents a chapter in the star's history with the outermost shells being the oldest and the inner ones the most recent. The brighter star, still in an earlier stage of evolution, plays a crucial role in shaping the nebula. As the two stars orbit, they stir the surrounding gas and dust, creating asymmetrical patterns in this mesmerizing celestial canvas. The gas and dust ejected by the dying star will enrich the surrounding region, merging into the interstellar medium. Over billions of years, this material might travel vast distances and become part of new stars, planets, or even life itself. Thanks to NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, we now have a breathtaking view of the closest star-forming region to Earth, the Rho Ophiuchi Cloud Complex. This stunning image, released to celebrate the Webb Telescope's first year of scientific discovery, showcases Rho Ophiuchi, located just 390 light-years from Earth in the Milky Way galaxy. This region is relatively young, only about a million years old, a blink of an eye in cosmic terms. The image is a symphony of color and activity. Bright red jets of molecular hydrogen shoot out from newly formed stars, carving through dense clouds of gas and dust. These jets reveal the raw power of stellar birth, 
where young stars burst through their cocoons in violent outflows. At the heart of the image lies S1, the most massive star in this region. Its intense stellar winds have carved out a glowing cave-like structure seen in pale yellow. Surrounding this are polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons complex carbon molecules that are common in space and linked to star formation. Not only do we see star formation, but Webb has also captured the shadows of protoplanetary disks, disks of gas and dust, where planets are forming. This glimpse into the early stages of solar system formation offers a window into our own past, showing what our sun and planets may have looked like 4.5 billion years ago. In one corner of the image, we even see a star nestled inside a glowing cave, its stellar winds shaping the surrounding space. These discoveries deepen our understanding of how stars and planets form, paving the way for future revelations. The breathtaking view of Jupiter captured by Webb's near-infrared camera, or NIRCAM. This composite image uses two filters, F212N for the warm oranges and F335M for the cool cyans, blending together to showcase Jupiter like never before. At the poles, we see electric blue auroras glowing brilliantly above Jupiter's north and south poles. These auroras are created by Jupiter's powerful magnetic field interacting with charged particles from the Sun. Notice the white glow radiating from these auroras. It's almost otherworldly. Now, check out Jupiter's faint rings. These rings, which are a million times fainter than the planet itself, glow in a subtle white along the equator. You might not expect a gas giant like Jupiter to have rings, but here they are, delicate and mysterious. See those tiny white dots on the left? That's Amalthea and Adrastea, two of Jupiter's moons. Amalthea is slightly further out and surrounded by diffraction spikes, while Adrastea is tucked closer to the rings. And if you look closely in the background, you'll spot fuzzy white patches distant galaxies photobombing this Jovian scene. This adds a cosmic perspective to the image, connecting Jupiter to the vast expanse of the universe. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured an extraordinary image that provides a groundbreaking look at one of the universe's most famous supernova remnants, Cassiopeia A, or Cass A. Located around 10,000 light-years away in the constellation Cassiopeia, Cass A represents the remnants of a massive star that exploded in a supernova event. This new image captured by the Webb Telescope marks a milestone in understanding the intricate details of this explosive event. The James Webb Telescope, with its unprecedented infrared capabilities, allows scientists to see the universe in a way we've never seen before. In this stunning new image, colors are assigned to the infrared light captured by Webb's near-infrared camera, or NIRCAM. The most striking features are the bright orange and pink clumps that make up the inner shell of the supernova remnant. These areas represent knots of gas, including elements like sulfur, oxygen, argon, and neon materials that were once part of the dying star. The entire Cass A remnant spans a massive 10 light years across roughly 60 trillion miles. This immense scale is difficult to comprehend, but it gives us a sense of the true magnitude of the supernova's explosion. With NEOCAM's resolution, we can now see how the dying star absolutely shattered when it exploded. The debris looks like tiny shards of glass scattered throughout space. It's truly incredible. Meet JD's GSZ-14-0, the most distant and earliest galaxy ever observed existing just 300 million years after the Big Bang. This record-breaking discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope shows us light that has traveled for an astonishing 13.5 billion years to reach us. JD's GSZ-14-0 is part of the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey or JDS, a groundbreaking program investigating the universe's earliest galaxies. But this galaxy isn't just breaking distance records, it's also rewriting what we know about the early universe. With a width of 1,600 light years, JDS GSZ-14-0 is surprisingly massive and bright for its age. This galaxy's intense luminosity is fueled by young stars, not by a supermassive black hole, as initially suspected.
It's evidence of rapid galaxy formation, proving that the early universe was far more dynamic and efficient at creating large structures than we ever imagined. How does JWST see such ancient galaxies? The secret lies in redshift. As the universe expands, light from distant objects stretches, shifting into the infrared spectrum. JD's GS Z14-0 has a redshift of 14.32 meaning it existed earlier than any galaxy previously discovered, but Jardes GS 14.0 isn't just a single point of light. Researchers found surprising details, including traces of oxygen, a hint that at least one generation of stars has already lived and died in this galaxy. On July 11, 2022, NASA revealed Webb's first deep field a stunning image capturing light that traveled over 13 billion years to reach us. This is our clearest window yet into the universe's earliest moments. The image focuses on SMAX 0723, a galaxy cluster 4.6 billion light years away. Acting as a natural magnifying glass, its gravity bends light from even more distant galaxies, a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. This effect warps space-time magnifying light from galaxies that formed just after the Big Bang. Webb's infrared technology reveals this ancient light, which has stretched over billions of years to become visible. Each tiny speck in this image is a galaxy filled with billions of stars. Some existed when the universe was just a few hundred million years old. Think about this. The light in this image traveled for over 13 billion years before reaching Webb. That means we're looking at these galaxies as they were billions of years ago, almost like looking back in time. The Eagle Nebula, also known as Messier 16, or the Star Queen Nebula, a breathtaking cluster of stars and stellar nursery located about 5,700 light years away in the constellation Serpens. This iconic nebula is home to the famous Pillars of Creation towering columns of gas and dust where stars are born. First captured by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995, these pillars span four to five light years across. In 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope unveiled a detailed new image of the pillars, revealing star formation like never before. The new images from JWST are a game changer. Unlike the Hubble images, which gave us our first look at the pillars, JWST's advanced infrared technology allows researchers to identify far more newly formed stars within these towering gas and dust structures. This precision is helping scientists refine models of star formation. They can now more accurately count the stars being born and analyze the quantities of gas and dust fueling this process. It's simplifying our understanding of how stars emerge from massive clouds of material. But it's not just about the stars. Let's talk about these fascinating wavy lines along the edges of the pillars. NASA says they look like lava, but what you're really seeing are ejections from young stars still forming within the gas and dust. These supersonic jets collide with surrounding material, creating shock waves that form the wavy patterns you see. The reddish glow? That's caused by energetic hydrogen molecules heated during these interactions. It's a cosmic light show in action. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured breathtaking images of spiral galaxies located relatively close to our Milky Way. These incredible snapshots reveal not just stunning beauty, but also deep secrets about the universe's star-forming processes. Among the galaxies captured, the closest is NGC 5068, about 15 million light-years away, while the farthest is NGC 1365, sitting 60 million light-years from Earth. These galaxies, resembling cosmic pinwheels, include features like straight bars and spiralling arms that tell us how galaxies evolve and grow. These stunning images offer a rare glimpse into the life cycle of stars and the complex interactions within galaxies, shedding light on the dynamic nature of star formation. These findings reinforce the idea that galaxies grow from the inside out. Spiral arms sweep up gas to form new stars, while central bars funnel material towards supermassive black holes. It's a cosmic dance that Webb has allowed us to observe in unparalleled detail. The discoveries we've discussed today are only the beginning. 
JWST has a planned mission lifespan of at least 10 years, and every day it pushes the boundaries of what we know about the universe. From probing black holes to studying the origins of galaxies, the possibilities are endless. Thank you for joining me on this cosmic journey. If you loved this dive into the James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries, hit that like button and subscribe for more space exploration. What is your favourite JWST discovery? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious.